Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but I'm with Phenomia Z Reptiles, and today you finally get to see Zero's new enclosure. I have been absent for like ever, hardly putting out content because my free time, when I have any, is spent on all the new enclosures and they're finally done. So first one you get to see is Zero's. So I'm gonna show you the background, how we did it, and setting it up and putting him in. First note, if you want to kind of know more about the enclosure itself, the video before this would be a Repta Homes enclosure review. That is the enclosure. It is a Repta Homes PVC enclosure. It is four by two by 18. So I will link that video down below, but let's get into how I set it up. So currently Zero is in a 40 gallon Exoterra with a custom reptile habitats kit. So background, a couple ledges, and he loves to climb all over. He is an adventurer, he is a climber. So I wanted to replicate that in his new enclosure and really focus on the climbing abilities. So I got these fake rock ledge kits from Universal Rocks. Once I placed them, I just siliconed them into place, let it dry, and spray foamed around them to kind of fill in the space. And just like any project with spray foam, you have to carve it down after to be able to do anything with it. So after I had it carved down, I painted it with dry lock mixed with a cement color so that I could get a natural color and then use non-toxic acrylics to match it to the rocks. There was this one spot, I swear, the spray foam kept growing. What in the heck? Where did it come from? So like I said, I do a couple layers of dry lock and then finish with my non-toxic acrylic paints to add different colors, shadowing, highlights, and just get it to kind of match the fake rock work that I have in there so it looks a little more natural. And this is what it looks like once it's all done. So I actually really like how it came out. Besides the little holes that happens with spray foam and I just didn't feel like trying to fill them, so we're just going with it, whatever. But now it's time to decorate. I'm so excited. I kind of skipped the part where I installed the lights. I've got a uh, Arcadia T5 UVB and then some overhead halogen heating. Woohoo for natural heating. So we're adding a layer of top soil here. And then of course we have to mix in some others because naturalistic of course. So we've got some forest floor, we've got some clay sand, and we're just gonna do a little mixy mix. Once we had our main components mixed, I added a layer of sphagnum moss on top, as well as my favorite part, some leaf litter. I love leaf litter. It is my favorite part of putting together a reptile enclosure. It just really makes it come together and look naturalistic. And then I have these awesome wood pieces from Blooms and Branches on Etsy. Love their shop. They always send me like the best pieces. And then we've got some cork bark for some naturalistic looking hides. Also very important, you never think about it, figure out where you want your water dish before you finish decorating. Because it's gonna be awful if you like how it looks and then realize you have no room for a water dish anywhere. Just why I tucked it in that back corner because I really, really wanted these decorations more towards the front. So once I had my wood pieces established, this is what it looked like. Love it, very enriching, lots of climbing. And then it was time to add the plants. So I got this awesome grass piece and then this uh, succulent, I forget what it's called, pineapple something. I thought it looked super cool, like splattered paint. So then I figured out where I wanted those and went ahead and planted them. Now this is just a naturalistic enclosure. It's not a bioactive enclosure. I'm not adding a cleanup crew. I didn't make the substrate as deep as I would have need to to make it bioactive. I have to move this enclosure in a month. So I was trying to make it lightweight, you know? I don't want to carry a very heavy soil filled bioactive enclosure. Now for the final look. I am obsessed, probably one of my favorite enclosures that I've put together. Look at all the climbing and enrichment.
Are you so happy? You have so much room to explore and things to climb on? How exciting! And that is Zero's enclosure. It is complete. It has been a long process since this was started in December. Today it is almost, well it's the end of June, it's almost July. This was a long time coming. Be sure to let me know what you guys think in the comments and don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there are three more, three more enclosures still to get put together. So hopefully I can do those today. As always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next one. Bye.